later that day, Santa came face to face with the consequences of his decision not to promote Chris. Mrs. Claus announced the toy competition and that the winner would become an elf. However, Santa had a trick up his sleeve by making Elmer the judge, almost ensuring that Chris would lose. Meanwhile, back in New York City, Ms. Horn and a fit-to-be-tied Reedy had been watching the goings-on in the glass globe on top of John Kringle's magic staff. Worried that Elmer would ruin their plan, Ms. Horn made her way to the North Pole to try to stop him. Back in the apprentice's boot camp, Chris knew that he would have to make the most wonderful toy to win the toy competition. As he racked his brain for what to make, he stumbled across Holly, who, unbeknownst to him, was the very toy that Santa had given to Mrs. Claus many years ago. Seeing Holly, Chris couldn't help but to fix her. The toy competition, Drexel will lose. Kicked out of the North Pole with my green suede shoes. Claus's Christmas ruined my revenge complete. The Kringle curse will knock him off his feet. And all my Tiffany doll sales will be big, fat, and sweet. Elmer, now listen to me. It's time to trade those green for purple suede shoes. These magical shoes will master your mind, giving Reedy control over you. You'll vote for Chris, so he will win, and the plot begins. I know, Nick, your magic is still alive. It's just buried inside. You're still the man I fell in love with who made Holly fly. Let down your walls, dare to see. Daniel is just who we need. need. The time has come for something extraordinary to happen to me. Can I be strong? Too good to be true, his honest heart and zeal. Mother, can you tell me, can he be real? Do I dare let down these walls? Do I dare let down these walls? Do I dare? The time has come to leave. Take a step into uncertainty. Extraordinary is happening.